everyone, welcome to Home Cooking with me, Hema Subramanian. Now, I've made several biryani recipes, and I'll give you a couple of links in the description. Adding to that list of biryanis is another special biryani that I'm going to share today. This is raw jackfruit, and we're going to make this delicious raw jackfruit dum biryani. Now, the flavors and texture, and everything is going to be very different from the usual biryanis that you might have tried earlier. So, let's get started and check out how to make this simply delicious jackfruit biryani. For this recipe, I've taken only half portion of a small size raw jackfruit here. You just need to cut the inner flesh into small pieces and wash them properly. I am transferring all those pieces to a large bowl. Now add 2 teaspoons of salt, 1 teaspoon turmeric powder, 2 teaspoons red chilli powder, 2 teaspoons of coriander powder, 1 and a half teaspoons of garam masala powder, half cup of fresh curd, 2 teaspoons of freshly pounded ginger garlic paste and mix well. Make sure all the masala coats the jackfruit pieces well. Next, add a small bowl of fried onions for a nice flavour. Also add a small bowl of chopped coriander leaves and another small bowl of chopped mint leaves. Mix them all again. Fried onions add a great flavour to any biryani you make. So next time, try adding the fried onions to your marinade. So now we've added all the masalas to the jackfruit pieces. So let this sit for at least about 30 minutes. Take a deep pot, add enough water for cooking the rice. I have already washed and soaked 1 cup of long grain basmati rice for 30 minutes in water. It's a 250ml cup measurement that I have used. Once the water starts bubbling, add half teaspoon of salt and soaked basmati rice. Now add 1 bay leaf, 1 cinnamon, 1 cardamom, about 3 cloves, a small piece of star anise to add a nice flavour to the rice. Cook the rice for just about 85% because we will be cooking it again on dum in the end. After 5 minutes, you can check on the rice. It should be firm and not overcooked. At this point, you can turn off the stove and strain the rice to let the excess water go. Keep the strained rice aside. Now to a pressure cooker, add 3 tablespoons of ghee and 1 tablespoon of oil. To this, add 1 bay leaf, 1 teaspoon of shahi jeera, some stone flour, maize, cinnamon, 3 cardamom, star anise and 4 cloves. Next, add 2 large onions thinly sliced. Also add 3 slit green chilies. Mix well and saute until the onions are turned to a nice golden brown colour. Once the onions are browned, add 3 small tomatoes cut into slices. Saute for half a minute. Now add the marinated jackfruit pieces to the cooker and mix well. Cooking the jackfruit pieces in the pressure cooker will make them softer. Otherwise, they will remain rubbery and it might be a bit hard to chew. After 5 minutes, add 1 cup of water to this and mix well. Pressure cook for about 5 to 6 whistles on medium flame. After 6 whistles, turn off the heat and wait for the pressure to release naturally. Then you can open the lid and check you will get a really juicy and nice gravy like masala here. You can also check if the jackfruit has softened. Once done, we can proceed with making the biryani. So keep this aside. Now take a deep pot and add 1 teaspoon of ghee. Transfer the cooked jackfruit mixture to the pot and mix well. Cook for 5 minutes. Keep the flame on medium low and layer the partially cooked rice. Spread it out evenly. Now add about a teaspoon of ghee on top. And then add some fried onions, finely chopped coriander leaves, finely chopped mint leaves and keep the flame on low. So close the pot and let this sit on dumb for about 15 minutes on low flame. Now I'm keeping the pot directly on the flame so I've reduced it to a nice low. But you can also keep it on a tawa and you can leave it on dumb. Uh, make sure you leave it on dumb at least for a minimum of 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, turn off the heat and let the biryani rest for 5 more minutes without opening the lid instantly. It lets the biryani rice set properly in the end after cooking is done. Now as you can see, gently mix the biryani rice with the jackfruit masala with a wide ladle and do not be in a rush. Handle it gently so the rice grains stay intact without breaking. Isn't this gorgeous and tempting? This has a great aroma and I'm already drooling over this sight. 
I'd say this is a must try for vegetarians because this has great nutritional value as well as wonderful flavors. Whenever you want to try something new and interesting, try this out. I'm sure you will fall in love with this yummy biryani. The raw jackfruit biryani is just simply outstanding. Uh, this is something that I've tried for the first time and uh, it tastes amazing. So next time you find this in the market, make sure you buy this and try it at home. Uh, the pieces are cooked perfectly. It's very juicy and loaded with flavor. So do try the recipe. Make sure you follow all the steps to get it perfectly. And you can enjoy it with some nice raita or any other gravy of your choice by the side. Try it and share it with your family and friends. So for more exciting and wonderful recipes, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to get your notifications. The second edition of our home cooking book is now available on our website 21frames.in. I'll give you the link in the description. You can go and check it out. The book is currently available only in India for now. So you can place your orders on 21frames.in.